Hi students, let's do another very interesting sum based on Heron's formula. Let's see the sum. It says a part in the shape of a quadrilateral ABCD as we can see here in the figure, right, has angle C equal to 90 degree. AB is equal to 9 meter, BC is equal to 12 meter, CD is equal to 5 meter and AD is equal to 8 meter. They say how much area does it occupy? That means we are talking about the area of this quadrilateral ABCD. If you look here, this quadrilateral ABCD is made up of how many triangles? Yes, it is made up of two triangles. Which are they? Triangle BCD and triangle ABD. That means the sum is very simple. If we want the area of this quadrilateral ABCD, we can say that it is nothing but area of triangle BCD plus area of triangle ABD. That easy the sum is. So let's focus on one. Now when we talk about area of triangle BCD, observe this triangle and tell me triangle BCD is what type of a triangle? It's nothing but it's a right angle triangle. Beautiful. Now if it is a right angle triangle, what is the formula for area of that? It is half into base into height, right? So it is half into BC into CD, right? So we write half into BC into CD. Now we just need to substitute the value. What is the value of BC? We know it is 12. What is the value of CD? We know it is 5. We write that. So it is 2 1s and 2 6s. So we get 6 into 5. It is nothing but 30 meter square. So now what has happened? We got area of triangle BCD. It's over. Now we come on to the next one. If you look at the next one, that triangle ABD. For this triangle student, it doesn't have a base and a height. That means we can't use half into base into height. So here, we are going to use the three sides. That means we are going to use the formula that is Heron's formula, which says root of S into S minus A into S minus B into S minus C. Beautiful. For that, let's define what is A, B and C. That means we are saying that in this triangle, ABD, here we write AB is equal to A is equal to 9 meter. Then we write AD is equal to B is equal to 8 meter. And we write BD is equal to C. But we don't know the length of BD. Can we find the length of BD? Yes. If you look here, BD belongs to a right angle triangle. Which right angle triangle? BCD, right? So how can we get the value of BD there? We can get it by Pythagoras theorem. Beautiful. So let's apply Pythagoras theorem there. So we write there, using Pythagoras theorem, we get BD square is equal to BC square plus CD square, right? That means we get BD square is equal to 12 square, the value of BC and plus it is nothing but 5 square, that is the value of CD. Now we know 12 square is how much? 144, beautiful. And 5 square is how much? 25. So we get BD square is equal to 169. That means we get the length of BD is equal to root of 169. And we know we got the length of BD to be 13 meter. Now students, for that triangle ABD, have we got the length of all the three sides? Yes. So we know what is A, what is B and what is C. So now, can you calculate the area of that? And I know you can do it by Heron's formula. I want you to do it. I'll be back.